Today on Shop Nation, we achieve toolbox greatness. So to organize the drawers, I'm gonna use Kaizen foam made by FastCap. They come in two foot by four foot sheets. Although you can buy these online, I would recommend going in person to buy them because they kill you on shipping. Each sheet is anywhere from 15 to $20, but they charge just about that much to ship it. So if you can get it in person, I live outside of Houston, so I can go to the Rockwood store. They had them in stock, much easier. There are three thicknesses available, seven eighths, one and an eighth, which is what I'm using, and two and a quarter. For the most part, you can get away with using one and an eighth for pretty much everything. For your larger objects, hammers, things like that, you may want to go with the two and a quarter. I bought one sheet of that for that purpose. Okay, so now that I have my tools grouped together that I want to use in the same drawers, all I need to do now is lay them out on the foam, cut them out. So the basic process starts with measuring each drawer and cutting out a piece of foam to fit that drawer. Once you've got the foam cut out, then you can arrange the tools how you think they should fit on the foam within the drawer itself. Then it's just a matter of transferring that to the foam and cutting them out. As you can see, this Kaizen foam has layers. This becomes really important on different sized objects. So thin, shallow objects, you only need to take out a couple layers. Deeper objects, you obviously take out more layers. To trace out my objects, I use this fast cap long nose marker. If you plan on organizing your whole shop or even a whole toolbox, I recommend purchasing one of these markers. There'll be a link in the description. Try to keep the pen perfectly upright to get the best representation of the outline and then cut out with the utility knife with the blade extended about three quarters of an inch. Always remember to cut inside of your trace line. This accounts for that small offset of the diameter of the tip of the long nose marker. Once the shape is cut, you can reach in with your finger and start peeling the first layer. Once you get it started, it moves pretty quickly. Sometimes you'll have an area that's a little harder to get off. Overall, it's pretty easy. on the foam. And then after that, it's just a matter of tracing out each tool. Keep in mind how you would pick up the tool out of the foam. You may need to incorporate a finger release next to the tool so that you can slide your finger underneath to pick it up. Alright, so now that we're done organizing, let's go cut some labels and put them on. I also plan on incorporating labels for my drawers. Now I cut these out with a vinyl cutter. If you don't own a vinyl cutter, you can easily purchase these. So I was playing around with not only the color, obviously red and blue, but also the location and size. I kind of made up my mind on this size and this location. This is probably the easiest visible, but you're really limited on size. Every single drawer will have a label when we're done here. like how these labels turned out. It really adds a lot to the toolbox, making it really easy to figure out where everything is. These drawers are now really functional. You can see that everything is exactly where it needs to be, and I can quickly see if something is missing. And when I'm done, I can just put it back in the spot where I grabbed it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I've still got a couple more drawers to knock out, but I'm really excited with how it's going so far. If you've got any comments on what you do different or how I should do things different, please feel free to leave them. I'd love to hear back. Please be sure to subscribe, like the videos, you know it helps me. I'd like to keep producing content and your help is vital to that. I hope you got something out of this that you can apply to your shop to make your shop awesome. Catch you next time.